Welcome everyone to our 100% financing webinar. Today we're going to be talking to Joe Cordova, a top mortgage lender and specialist in these types of loans, and Michelle Jackson, who's been a realtor for eight years with Imani Realtors. Hey Joe, what are some of the biggest obstacles that people have today when considering the purchase of a home? Uh, the two biggest obstacles I see are credit and down payment. These two items are what have been stopping potential home buyers from attaining their dream of home ownership. The good news is we do have solutions for both of these issues. We have a credit restoration company we have partnered with that not only helps repair past credit, but helps consumer attain new lines of credit to increase their overall scores. So really the bigger problem or bigger obstacle would be the down payment. It can take some time for buyers to save what they consider to be a sizable down payment, but most buyers really don't want to wait that long. They see low rates coupled with low home prices, and they want to buy right now. So there used to be programs out there where people didn't have to have any money for a down payment. Are there still programs out there that allow zero or low down payments? Yes, there are. There are actually two great programs out there that people can still participate in with zero down payment. The first is for veterans. Those folks that have served in the military and are able to secure a VA loan, and by the way, you could use VA loans over and over again. It's not like a one-time thing. If you have not served in the military, then you may qualify for a USDA loan, depending on the home's location. This loan does have income limitations. In Burlington, Camden, and Gloucester counties, a family's size of four can have a maximum income amount of $90,050. Both of these loans allow for sellers to pay a portion, if not all, of the buyer's closing costs. These are great loan options with low interest rates, which are comparable to conventional loans. Well, what if a couple or a family makes more than the maximum on the USDA loans? Would they still have to put down 20% to get a loan? <laughs> that would actually paralyze the housing market. So, no, they most certainly do not. We have another program available all the way up to a loan amount of 417000 and you only have to put as little, you can put as little as 3.5% down. There's no income limitations and no geographic limits associated with this loan, and you can also do it as a fixed rate loan, a hybrid arm loan for five or seven years, and adjustable rate mortgages if you'd like. This loan has great rates and lenient guidelines. Both of these loans allow for the seller to pay a portion if not all of the buyer's closing costs. These are great loan options with low interest rates, which are comparable to conventional loans. Well, Joe, what about PMI? You know that private mortgage insurance that people have to pay along with their loan? Well, that's a very good question and a very timely question. Both the VA and USDA loans at the moment carry no monthly private mortgage insurance, so it makes both of these payments on these loans less than a payment on a conventional or FHA loan, even if the customer puts down 35 to 5%. That's why if you qualify for these loan programs, you simply must take advantage of them. They are great loan products, but we just got notification recently that USDA loans are going to be carrying monthly mortgage insurance effective in October of this year. So this is a really big motivator to take advantage of this loan right now before October comes around. Now, with the USDA loans, are there any special qualifications that are required in order to get one? There are no real strict guidelines or anything. You can't own any other real estate with a USDA loan. Uh, you don't have to be a first-time home buyer, uh, and you could have owned a property in the past, but you can't own a property right now when you apply for a USDA loan. Generally, you do have to have a minimum of a 640 credit score on both USDA and VA loans. Keep in mind, we do have some options for as low as a 620 credit score, uh, and also keep in mind that USDA loans are restricted to certain homes in uh, rural geographic areas. Now, Joe, with the government loans, does it ever run out of money? Yeah, unfortunately, there are times that the allotment that Congress gave for the year runs dry. Don't worry if you already have one of these loans. You have it until you sell or refinance your home. That is why you should buy now while the money is available. We never know exactly when the money is going to run out. They generally do give us a couple weeks' notice, Remember, when you make an offer on a USDA or VA loan, that you want to allow a minimum of 45 to 60 days to close from the day your offer is accepted. And both of these loans or grants will generally take four to five weeks to get to the settlement table. What happens if someone wants to buy in an area that is not a USDA area? Do they have other options? And if so, 
What are they? Yes, they do. Uh, buyers can choose a loan with as little as 3.5% down, like we said earlier, up to 417000 loan amount in Burlington, Camden, and Gloucester counties. This loan is uh, a bit more lenient with credit and even allows for a family member or employer to gift the buyer that 3.5% down payment money. It also allows for a family member to co-sign and use their income to help them qualify for the loan. And the seller can actually pay up to 6% towards their closing costs. Now, on top of that, keep in mind if you're a first-time home buyer, another great option would be the New Jersey First-Time Home Buyer Program. The state offers a 4% grant that can be used for down payment and closing costs. So if you choose a loan that requires 3.5% down payment, you can use the grant and have approximately 5% left to go towards your closing costs and still have the seller pay uh, that up to that 6% towards closing costs. Keep in mind this loan is for first-time buyers and is eligible in most urban areas in New Jersey. Uh, there are income and sales price, price limits per county. Hey, Jill, being a realtor in Burlington County, I'm aware that there are programs that are beneficial to first-time buyers here. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yes, Michelle, um, you're, you're correct. For first-time home buyers in Burlington County, they offer a grant towards down payment and closing costs, uh, coupled with this New Jersey program uh, to give to the first-time home buyer. They have uh, their own set of rules for income limitations, but as long as the home buyer is putting 3% of their own funds towards down payment, this, the uh, County of Burlington will give them $5,000 towards their down payment on top of their 3% and another $4,000 in closing costs. So Burlington County is definitely uh, a county to look at for uh, first-time home buyers to help uh, with grant money. So on that note, these grant programs definitely demonstrate that right now is what I consider to be a perfect storm for a home buyer. Rates are low and sales prices are low. This could change in the very near future as most predict interest rates to rise over the next 6 to 12 months. It is critical that you get pre-approved for home loans before you start shopping. So Michelle, let me ask you, as a realtor, how do you feel about a pre-approved buyer versus a pre-qualified buyer? Which do you prefer when presenting an offer? Well, if a buyer has been pre-qualified, they have merely spoken to a lender and haven't given the lender their supporting documentation. Based on what they actually told the lender, he thinks that they will qualify for a loan. On the other hand, if a buyer is pre-approved, their information such as credit, job history, income documentation, and rental information has actually been documented and verified. They have met with the local lender and they have filled out an application. So the pre-approved buyer is the best kind of buyer by far. I know that they are able to buy a home, and the seller knows that they can buy if they are pre-approved. So I advise all my buyers that pre-approval is the first and most important step in the home buying process. Unless you are purchasing with all cash, you must get your financing squared away. And if you don't get your financing, you won't get your home. So if you go out shopping for a home with just a pre-qualification, you might fall in love with a home only to find out that you can't get the financing you need. It's a heartbreaking situation, and no one wants that to happen. So be a smart buyer and get your pre-approvals first. That makes so much sense. And just a heads up for your clients out there, we do not charge for pre-approvals. There's no application fee or anything like that to get pre-approved. Well, this has been all very informative, and I want to thank you all for joining us today. When you have questions and are ready to get pre-approved, please contact Joe Cadover's office directly at 856-304-2381, or you can reach them online at joecadover.com. For your real estate agent needs, contact Michelle Jackson at 609-668-0280, or her website at mjcancel.com. Happy house hunting!